Incredible Corsica. Hi there, bonjour, good morning. This is Calvi on the island of Corsica. An absolutely spectacular day today, not a cloud in the sky. Incredible. Today is February 16th, smack in the middle of winter, but it is definitely a uh, pleasant, warm day today and it is going to get warmer by the looks of it. I've been here in the uh, little town of Calvi for the past three days here from Paris. Today the mission is going to be to get to Bastia. Bastia is the second largest city of Corsica. I believe that it is out there. There is a train that goes from a train station somewhere I guess nearby. Need to figure out where that is. It goes 30 minutes or so in that general direction towards Bastia. From there I'm not sure what I'm going to uh, do as far as getting the rest of the way. I think there will probably be buses or uh, something else. We'll uh, find out in the course of this uh, day, so it will be a nice uh, experience to get out of uh, Calvi here, which has been super pleasant, but uh, there is so much more to see of this island, including, check out that mountain range. Just incredible that there are mountains, almost 9,000 feet tall on this little island in the Mediterranean with snow on them. So I have uh, some pastries here and a quiche for breakfast. Really good quiche, I had it yesterday. It was 10 euros for the one quiche. It is a large size and uh, two pastries there. So going to munch on breakfast and then get packed up and get started going on the uh, day's adventure. One little thing that I wanted to talk about here that people have asked in uh, comments is Jet lag. How do I deal with jet lag? I have no magic bullet. I have no solution other than try your best to get over it and get back on schedule. The reason that I'm mentioning it is because I am dealing with the worst jet lag I've ever had in all of my traveling. I flew from Mexico to Brussels, Belgium 11 days ago now and I still haven't gotten on track. My sleep is all messed up. I went to sleep at 9 o'clock last night. I usually go to sleep, you know, 11, 12, 1, 2, something like that. And then I woke up at 3.30 in the morning and couldn't get back to sleep after that. So I'm kind of uh, still whacked out. But if anyone has jet lag ideas, feel free to post them in a comment down below. Probably the uh, best idea is just to try to get through the day without taking a nap in the middle of like the afternoon, which is what I've been doing a lot of the days because I've been tired out from not getting enough sleep, waking up too early and whatnot. And so just try to power through the day get through it and go to sleep at a normal time and then hopefully wake up at a normal time if you can. So uh, that is one of the uh, challenges of traveling and I will get back to normal sometime soon, I'm sure. All right, let's uh, have some breakfast and then get out of here.
So here's the train tracks for the train that I mentioned going to Ile de Rousse around the uh, corner and I think over those mountains there. However, I have a change of plans. Let's uh, go check out the beach. I got a rental car. And so as many of you have probably noticed as I uh, travel around the world, I don't do a whole lot of planning in advance. Sometimes I just wing it, but not always. If it is kind of a critical situation, I will uh, check the options and make sure that I don't end up in a rough situation. So I checked the uh, options for going from Ile de Rousse to Bastia, which is another hour and a half drive from there, and there was nothing. There were buses that left this morning that probably stopped there on the way to Bastia, but the train just goes to that Ile de Rousse town, very short, like 30 minute uh, train ride, and then that is it. And there was just like no other options for how to get to Bastia other than like hitchhiking, which I kind of considered, but I'm just not in the mood for it, especially with like the jet lag situation. And also that would have potentially used up the afternoon. Of course, with hitchhiking, you don't know how long it's going to take to uh, get to where you're going. An hour and a half could be two, three, four, five hours. So anyways, decided to uh, get the car now. I was planning to get a car anyways. Might as well get on it and uh, have my wheels. And now I am truly exploring and can uh, get out and see some more of this incredible looking island. So Il Rus, straight ahead, Bonafaccio to the right. That is the southernmost point of Corsica here. And up ahead, you can see the mountains that are just incredible, covered in fresh snow from the uh, rain down here a couple days ago. This weather is just glorious. So about the uh, car, then it was 307 euros. So uh, not cheap. That is for three days. That includes taxes and insurance and also the uh, drop-off in another town, probably in Ajaccio, the uh, capital of Corsica. As for how I actually find the uh, rental car companies, then I just write in rental car into Google Maps and then all of uh, the various nearby rental car companies will pop up. I called like 12 or 15 or something and this was the only guy that answered the phone. It is low season and so that is why. And so the uh, options were just super limited. Tried to bargain with him. He wouldn't uh, bargain down at all. So my first detour of the day, it didn't take long. Just saw this amazing little bay and water, an unreal color of blue. Isn't that an ultimate, fairly private spot? I mean, as far as no big hotels or town or whatever. Beautiful. You can imagine if this is middle of winter, summers are going to be hot. Amazing water there. All right, let's keep on going out that way. Beaudry Beach. I just plugged in what to see in Isle Roost because the uh, town was not looking really that spectacular, but this beach does look pretty amazing. A half kilometer walk from here. The train tracks once again. Two hundred meters. The advantage of traveling in low season. Nobody around. And this was like the first thing that popped up as far as what to see. So I think that this is a popular beach. Well, I'm not the only one here. Looks like a uh, daughter and child. Probably they live nearby. This is a sweet beach other than the rough waves. I'm sure that it is much calmer in the summer.
So I'm back in the town of Isle Rus out there and heading that way. Looks like a nice hike up to a lighthouse. What an epic sight this is. The waves crashing, the town sprawled across that hill there, an amazing looking beach along the bay there, the mountains, and then look at this. Let's go get a closer look from the other side. This is called Fanale de Pietra. And the lighthouse is up there as well. Windsurfers out there. A good day for it. Lots of wind, lots of sun. Look at this monstrous old thing. And there is the lighthouse. Doesn't appear to be any entryway into this, so what is this thing? Some sort of a storage or seems more likely it would be like a, you know, fort uh, tower, a watchtower, something like that. Great location for that. Let's get up to the lighthouse. So there is the train station. That's where I would have ended up if I'd gone ahead with my plan initially this morning. I would be here and then, as you can see, not much going on. I don't know what I would have done. I probably would have been stuck either hitchhiking or taking a very expensive taxi neither of which would have been great options. Glad the things worked out as they did. All right, left here at the big beautiful church. Get a shot of the beach. At the roundabout, take the first exit and stay on please, Pascal Pelly. I bet this town looks a whole lot different in the summer. Nice little town. Turn left to stay on place, Pascal Pelly. Main square here, it looks like. They're playing bocce ball or patank. I confuse the two, very similar. The chairs are all piled up. Bastia, that is the direction that I'm going. But for being deep in the heart of winter, it's pretty pleasant. 200 meters, turn right onto Avenue Conte Valeri. So I think I will make it a uh, fairly quick stop here, just poke around a little bit. You can see the sign up there, Calvi, 70 kilometers. Isle Rus, 48 kilometers. Nice, uh, Main square here on the harbor. I 
I bet it's a lovely sight in spring when these uh, bloom, whatever they are. Pretty cool. Nice to see community just gathering in the uh, main square, having a nice time. The dogs are soaking up the sun. San Florent. Lots of closed up restaurants. They're okay. There's a crazy story to go along with this one. Melted glass. I'm driving over a pass here. So this is Bastia. It has a city feel to it. Traffic is slow. Looks like an impressive citadel, old town, something like that up ahead. So I was trying to book a uh, hotel on my phone and the connection was so slow I couldn't complete the booking. But I'm thinking that that might be for the best because I don't really like the looks of uh, Bastia. Still an interesting uh, place, but uh, not really the quiet, peaceful scene I'm looking for. So as you can see, big old ferry. I guess they go from here to Italy. That is an option for uh, my plans from here. We'll see, either over to the Italian mainland or south to Sardinia. But uh, I'm considering that uh, ferry going back over to the uh, boot of Italy. I have a hotel reserved that is out of town a little ways. Get out of the mayhem. Heading towards Cap Corse, Cape Corsica. 
There's my rental car right there. I'm about five minutes away from my uh, hotel and just saw this really nice little village here with a point sticking out into the sea. What a relief to get out of Bastia. This is a nicer scene. Cool. This is pretty interesting. Ooh, a restaurant here. I'm getting hungry. It's only five o'clock, I think. But, uh, is anything open around here? Probably not. If so, then it would be later. Like seven o'clock probably seems to be the time when restaurants tend to open up. The Pirate Restaurant. Wow, this is a awesome little nook. And we got a harbor, it looks like. All right, the pot of gold at the end of the village, my ruins. Wow, what a just pleasant little point here. So I'm about a mile away from my hotel, but I saw something out in the sea that I had to stop for. Look at this. This is some serious history right here. That is an Italian island. But it isn't just any Italian island. That is Elba, where Napoleon Bonaparte was exiled to in 1814 and 1815. Just right there, looking at it. The Italian mainland is not much further past the island there. What a trip. All right, I am wiped out, looking forward to getting to my hotel, checking in, and relaxing with a nice glass of wine and some good food. And it looks like this is the village where my hotel is. Wow, it looks really nice. Commune de Cisco, that's right. Cute little uh, food truck. Oh, I think that was my hotel right back there.